Hey guys, Grady here. So I'm just taking a little walk with with Robert. Um, another walk through the neighborhood. Going a little bit of a faster pace this time, Robert. Stay over here, buddy. Um, come on, come on, dude. Come on. Nope, over this way. So, there he is down there. Um, um, just taking him on a little walk. It looks like Julie might be joining us, maybe. Um, anyways, um, yeah, um, just taking a walk, I guess. You guys, if you follow my Twitter, you know that I asked what my next video should be about. I didn't really get any votes, so I'll have it be about a um, geography lesson. So here's a little quick lesson for all of you. Robert, focus. Um, so a lot of you, you know, you guys don't, you know, a lot of people don't know geography the best. They know it, but not the best that they can. Well, that's why I'm here. So many of you people in, in the world, I'd say the majority of you, believe that America and the United States are the same. Well, that's not even sort of true. I can think of quite a few differences between the two. Quite a few. Major one being is that, you know, there's a difference between um, political America and geographical America. Politically, people only say it's the United States and, well, okay, but then you've got, you know, North America, Central America, and South America, which are actually short for North Region of America, Central Region of America, and South Region of America, so they're really, they're really just regions, you know? <laughs> they are, they're regions, they're not separate continents, it's all one continent. Stretches from the top of Greenland down to the bottom of Chile, you know? That's, that's a big, big piece of land, that's huge, that's like half the world north to south. That's a really big stretch of land, you know? And there, there are really only, you know, four continents. I mean, Australia, really? I don't, I don't count that as a continent. Antarctica, no. Antarctica doesn't even really have a government, for goodness sake. You can't really, you know, count that as a, um, as a continent. Also, notice how the continents, Africa, America, Asia, and Europe, all have multiple countries, multiple different governments. Australia only has one, and Australia is actually pretty small. It's, you know, it's smaller than, than the United States is, so, you know, plus it's, it's not really connected to anything, you know, it's just, it's just kind of out there, you know, by, by itself, basically. Um, I don't really count Australia or Antarctica as continents, which means that, you know, there are only, there are only four of them. You've got America classed into three separate regions, the North, Central, and South regions, and then you've got Europe, Africa, and Asia as well. And, you know, this, this is a problem that, you know, much of the world's population does, just does not understand. You need to realize, guys, that this is really, you know, a problem. People talk about being correct and proper. You know, my own parents will do that to me and I'll say, yeah, speak for yourself, guys. You guys are never correct and proper. And, you know, they're, they're not. They're not sometimes. So, you know, I love my parents. I do. But at the same time, it's very, very annoying when they tell me to, you know, be correct and proper when, when they're not doing that. When they themselves are not being correct and proper like they should be. This is a problem that I would say 
like 99.9% .9 of the population of the world has is that, you know, they just, they don't learn geography well. And yes, that would mean that the Caribbean, including La Republica de Cuba, are all part of America as well. It needs to, you know, needs to be taught properly in schools, and that's one of the reasons why, why I'm not, you know, going to college, because they just don't teach that class right. They don't. They, they really don't teach that class right at all. They don't. They don't teach it right. They um, tend to, you know, get their facts mixed up. So, you know, I'm telling you, somebody who got, you know, past geography with flying colors, you know, in high school, I know what I'm talking about, okay? I do, and I, I think it's completely insensitive, rude, ignorant, and very contradictory for only people who live in the United States to call only themselves American. If you live in Canada, Peru, Cuba, you know, Brazil, Mexico, um, anywhere in the Caribbean, anywhere in any of America's three regions, you're American, okay? It, like, that's, that's just the way it is, you know? That is, that's the way it is, you know? A lot of people, they don't, they just don't realize that, which I guess that's, you know, understandable to an extent, but at the same time, you know, you need to, you need to be correct and proper. You do. It's, it's important. It is. It's important and it's definitely something that needs to be taught in schools worldwide. And I just got back from Alaska, as you all know, and a Colombian American was talking to me and she said that people in her country, including herself, laugh at those of us who live in the United States, because those of us who do live in the United States are so, so ignorant and arrogant that we only have the ignorance and arrogance to call ourselves Americans. She said that the people in her country, including herself, laugh at us, which, can you blame her? Look, there's Robert. Sorry guys, I know that's way zoomed in, but that was not intentional. I swear it wasn't. Um, but anyways, you know, I just, I just feel that, you know, like that's, that's really important for people to know. They've got to know that, you know. You've got to know that. You really, it's, it's important. Every school in the world should teach it that way. The problem is, is that the majority of them don't. In fact, I'm not sure if any school does. But at the same time, you know, that's, that's just, you know, how it is. That's just how this world works. And, you know, you learn new things every day. And I'm telling you guys this so that you learn something. And while we are on the subject, by the way, I think that it is insensitive, rude, ignorant, and even racist for people to call themselves American when they're not originally from there. Yes, I was born in the United States. Yes, my mom's dad was born in Canada. That does not make either of us American by any means, you know? I'm white, okay? I, Americans are not white. They are. You know, they're, they have darker skin. The real Americans do. The fake Americans do not. They, they don't, you know. People all across the world are talking about, you know, getting rid of illegal immigrants and foreigners, and I'm like, but that's just the thing. We're all illegal immigrant foreigners. Me, I, I am one, I, I don't care, you know where I was born, if it's not in my heritage, it's not who I am, and it's 
really offensive and racist for me to call myself, you know, something that that I'm not. It is. It's it's so bad. Like I can't believe that, you know, people would would actually, you know, do that. It's it's really appalling. It really is. It you know, it's like people just do not care. Really, you should. This like this is really a you know, a big issue and you know, one of the problems that I have with with Donald Trump is that you know, he's he's saying, "Oh yeah, sure. Let's get rid of all the illegal immigrants and foreigners, you know." Yeah, let's build a wall. Uh, I hate to tell you, Donald, actually, I don't really hate to tell you this, but you're an illegal immigrant foreigner yourself, dude. You know, and you can say, you know, whatever you want. There was no government around. There's some of the nature that we're in. You can say, you know, there was no government around at the time when Columbus and those other people came over. It, it doesn't really matter, okay? The point is, is that there they still came over with, you know, coming over without permission. If you ask me, that's the exact same as, you know, coming over I illegally. It is. It's the exact same thing. You, you, they clearly do not care at all. But, but like, really? Because, because you should, you should care, you know? Native means first to colonize. So for those of you who live like in a state and you or in a province and you say oh yeah I'm a native well no you're not cuz you're not first to colonize you aren't you know I see so many stickers on the cars out here cuz I live in you know I live in the state of Colorado I see so many bumper stickers that say native and it makes me really really upset because th they're not freaking native, you know? They're not. They're not native. I don't care, you know, what you guys say. The fact is, is that you're not, Robert. Focus, buddy. Um, the fact is, is that you're not, and, you know, you're just being an ignorant, you know, person, and an arrogant person, and a racist person by, by saying that. That's just so untrue. I am... Euro-African because my roots come from Europe and further back for those of you who have taken science classes you would know that we all started in Africa so I'm Euro-African okay my native land would be somewhere in Europe or in, or in Africa not in America unless I'm part Native American which I don't think that I am but I really hope that I am you know, unless that's the case, that's, you know, that's, that's not, you know, appropriate or acceptable to say. I don't care, you know, where I was born and raised. It's not in my heritage. It's not who I am. And it's really, you know, really, really uncool to say stuff like that. It is. It's... You know, what you guys care about is that you were born where you were born. Really? That's not the biggest deal, guys. You know? I mean, like, people, I guess I shouldn't say my native lands would be somewhere in Europe because, well, no, they wouldn't. But you see, people will think that because they think that white people originated in Europe. Well, they did. However, um, you know... White people did not, um, they were not the first to be in Europe. There were native Europeans as well. That's the problem, you know, that many of you people do not, you know, understand. Robert, focus. Last warning on that, buddy. Um, you know, many people do not realize this. Really? Like, really, people? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, that... It's wrong to believe what you believe, but regardless of what you believe, there's a difference between what you believe and the actual facts, okay? And and the facts are that, you know, um, the facts are that, you know, this is, this is what's happening, you know, in 
in the world. It is. That's what's happening in the world. And, you know, it's getting worse and worse all over. You know, the people saying, you know, yeah, get rid of all the illegal immigrants and foreigners. Really? Because that's what we all are. You know, you want to deport all of them? Okay. Deport every non-native person back to Africa then. Seriously. That's, if that's where our roots come from far enough back, then deport us all back to there, because that's really, we're just contradicting ourselves and the entire world and future generations, you know, by saying this stuff. We are, it's, you know, it's, it's clearly, it's crazy how people, you know, they say, oh yeah, well I'm this, and I'm like, no you're not, okay, you, you say you are, but no you're not. Okay? You know, I mean, like, think of it like in terms of most dogs, you know, most dogs, you know, most cats are, are mutts, so are most people. We can't call ourselves just, you know, American, or, you know, just European, because further back, we come from somewhere else in the world. We do! You know, and it's easy to figure that out. It is. It, it really is. It's, you know, it's, it's really, you know, un, unprofessional to, um, to be incorrect and improper. It is, you know, and people will correct me all the time. And, you know, and then I'll say to them, you know, well, well, you know, speak for yourself because you, you're not, you know, some perfect person either. And they're not, you know, they're not. Like, I understand people, you know, where, where it's coming from, but this is, this is a real issue. It is. It's a real big issue. It's a real big issue. Come on, Robert. It's a really, really big issue. Really big. And it's an issue that, you know, should not continue any, any further. It, it shouldn't. It shouldn't have to, you know, be this way. Like, why on earth do we care, you know, so much about where we're born that we don't give any credit to those who were here before us? I honestly, I see that as, you know, treasonous to an extent. I see that as, you know, that, that would be considered racism. It, it would be, you know, it would be. I just, I can't, you know, I can't handle the fact that we live in such a racist world. It's so, like, completely unbelievable. It is. It's, it's unbelievable. And it, you know, it makes me, like, really, really, really annoyed because, you know, people don't realize that what they're doing is wrong. Or a lot of them do realize it, but they just, you know, they just don't care. You know, whatever. You know, I... Here's some more of the nature, guys. We're on the little trail. But anyways, you know, it's it's crazy. It is. It's really, you know, super, like, crazy. It's like, you know, they, people cannot accept, you know, that the truth is the truth. They, they can't. You know, they, they really can't. Come on, Robert. Um, they really cannot, you know. It's, it's nuts. It is. But anyways, guys, on an ending note, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a very, very peaceful day. And I will see you guys on the next nature walk. Again, thank you all for watching and, and listening. I really, you know, I do. I do greatly appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot to me. And... You know, this is going to be the last time that you guys will see Robert for a while because he's going um, back to college with my sister. So that'll be, you know, interesting. He'll be <clears throat> he'll be gone, you know, for for that, you know, length of time, and it it'll just be, you know, really, really interesting. So anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a peaceful day. All right, bye, guys. Thank you again so much.